so this is Lars from Canada. Hello. We met him walking through the mall and you stopped me, Lars. Why is that? Because I recognized you from YouTube. And it's not every day that I meet a guy that towers over me like this. That's right. How tall are you? I'm six foot ten. Six foot ten. And you used to have an interesting job that you just mentioned to me. What did you used to do? I used to be a jockey and then I gave that up for basketball. He played in the NBA. One of the first Canadians to play in the NBA. Is that's that right? right. That's right. In the modern NBA, played for the Seattle Supersonics the year they won the NBA championship. And you stopped me because you liked my videos, Lars. Yeah. What about it? That you, what's what's the thing that you like about my videos? There's a lot of stuff about the Philippines on YouTube. There's a lot of junk, a lot of bottom feeders doing things on the internet and YouTube. But what I recognized is that there's a high shelf and there's a low shelf. And what you're dealing with in this blog is someone that's on the more upper high shelf compared to some of the guys that figure that they know what they're doing. This guy is serious, straightforward, and honest about what he sees, and I really, really appreciate his blog. <laughs> well, that's a great stunning glowing recommendation <laughs> i appreciate it large and my goodness they grow them large in canada that's right, right. that's my name lars hansen or large handsome large handsome i like it you got the scandinavian genetics there huh? that's right yeah. so we're checking out of the hotel but me and imabel have stayed in some really nice hotels and i think that this might actually be the nicest that we've stayed at. I don't know, we've stayed in so many great hotels, but what do you think, Imabel? This is the nicest so far. Yeah, I think it might be. But we're just happy that we could share it with you viewing these videos, and we're really super happy, most of all, that we could share it with our clients that came here for their vacation, and we got to contribute to someone having a good time in life, having these great experiences, making sure that they have fun and stay safe here. And Imabel works as the tour manager, and I work as the photographer, but I don't just do photography, I also contribute a lot. Me and Imabel, we actually work as a team, and that's pretty cool. So we're very happy to be doing this, very blessed, very, we love it, and we're having a great time, and we're happy to share it with you, and happy to share it with our clients. Don't make me do the autopsy No makeup and your verse is free So beautiful that it's obscene You come up and say hi to me I'm gonna do the autopsy You make me wanna do the autopsy It's gonna be a slow death in the scene I'd rather settle down and die than dare to dream I guess I'm gonna do the autopsy. So we just got back from Cebu after a really great trip, really successful tour that Imabel ran and organized and I helped out with and I worked as the photographer. Not everything. So earlier today I took a taxi from the airport and when my things were unloaded by the security guards in my building, they left my tripod in the car. I didn't check. And the taxi driver is a very honest fellow. He called us when he found it in his car. Even though he was far away, he was all the way in Makati. He called us and he's bringing it back to us now. And thank God for honest taxi drivers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thanks for bringing it back. We appreciate this is, it. This is Kuya Dali and he's a very honest cab driver. And it's so amazing. I think it's God's way also because I actually sent him a text message earlier because we went, we dropped by a mall. And so just to make sure that I get a message from Travis. I used because your phone. battery was dead. My, ba my phone's battery was dying, so I requested him if I could send text him a message so he gets the number of the other phone, just in case it'll be easy for Travis to, Travis to contact us. So it was a blessing in this guy that he got 
the number, our phone number. Thank you. Thank there, you. Thank you, God bless. Thank you. Thank you. This is actually a very special tripod to me because I actually was just thinking about this earlier when we flew in from the airport. I've had this tripod for 10 years now. I bought this in 2007 at Walmart for $25, but it's been all around the world with me. I've created so many popular videos with this cheap tripod that I really consider it something special. I guess I am a little bit of a sentimental fe fellow, even if it's sentimental for a tripod. For more information about the Philippines, you can check out my all new book available now on Amazon. This will provide you the information in a quick, straightforward manner that's not going to waste your time and you're also going to be entertained. And of course, you can also watch my other videos and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the new ones.